Well, how's it going, everybody? Well, as you can see, I've got a new holster. This video is going to be on the Gladius holster, which is a Kydex. And this is just my initial uh, re review of it. Uh, this is a short-term test because I've only been carrying it for a little while. I will give an update probably here in three to six months and let you know how I think about it at that time. But for the initial review, everybody knows that getting a holster for your Steyr pistol has been a little bit of a problem, but they are getting more and more available. Uh, if you've seen my previous review, I did a review on a double click holster, which I will be having another one of those uh, shortly, a different model. But on this particular one, uh, this is a Gladius. Like I said, it's a Ky it's a Kydex. Um, it is a 0.8 uh, thickness. Uh, verify all that. Move it back. So on the thickness for this one compared to another Kydex holster, it's about a medium thickness. It's not real flimsy. I mean, you can still move it a little bit, but uh, it's definitely rigid. Um, I'm going to use this one as my EDC uh, holster. So, a few things about it. Um, I picked this one up down at Steyr headquarters. They're actually selling them, or you can buy them through uh, Gladius themselves. This particular holster will fit any of the Steyr pistols. So, um, it is designed for length up to the L, but you can put an M or a C in this for sure. I want to say that you can also put a, yes, you can do a C and an S. Sorry, had to check my other, my other box and note. When you get it, uh, pretty much what you see is what you're going to get. It has two belt clip uh, clips. They're for an inch and seven eighths uh, belt. So your big, the heavy duty 511 uh, gun belt or uh, real similar to the uh, repelling belt uh, will fit, or you can put your standard leather, uh, you know, generic leather belt uh, through one. The hardware that it comes with, it has uh, some decent hardware. Everything is uh, Phillips screwed in the front for a retention, and on the back of it, it's aluminum countersinks for uh, the support for, so the screw doesn't break through the the, the kydex. It is all riveted, so it's you're actually putting the screw through the rivet to attach. And I'll actually pull one of these out and show you on here. They're nice machine screws. So here's one of the screws, very similar to like a 1033 machinist screw. And then it has a countersink eyelet. And these are reversible all the way around. Uh, so you can put it on the front or on the back. Now I did notice when I was setting this one up for my cant, which is really nice. And I'll show you here on the picture in just a second. But these are adjustable. They're four positions up and down. So you can get your tilt in any direction that you want. You can actually, if you need to have this ride higher, you can flip these over so they're omnidirectional in left to right and top to bottom or front to back. So depending if you wanted to actually wear this inside your waistband or outside the waistband, you can do that. Um, it's really more, I want to say, designed for outside the waistband. Um, I don't know if you really want to put this inside. I guess you could uh, buy the clips to run it that way, but uh, I like it the other when you set these up, the only thing that I found is when you rotate these clips to the inside, when you put the uh, this little flat washer on the inside, they're nice and flush, and there's not much room to get up underneath one. But when they're on the other side, they seem to be raised off just enough that uh, your shirt or some string could get caught, caught underneath one. They don't sit as flush as this one. So I decided to keep them on the back. 
and just to uh, adjust the cant and everything. But you can set them in. There's no Loctite that's needed. They actually bite into the top screw housing, which these little retainers come out. They actually click into the plastic and bite. I haven't had any issues with anything coming loose. But like I said, this is my initial review of it. There's not there's not really much. It's it's just black Kydex. Nothing overly fancy. Or I mean, I, I like kind of no thrills. I just want a holster to work. It doesn't have to have a whole bunch of fanciness to it. But um, the corners are all uh, rounded and polished out. There's no rough edges. Everything's sanded and real smooth. No, nothing sharp. The only thing that I can say on it is I have seen with these very high uh, tails that they will kind of dig into your side if you're uh, if you're not kind of like a bean pole. <laughs> you know, if you're uh, of large stature so you might have to trim this for your comfort um, I have seen some people come in and actually just round this out you can use a bandsaw or you can actually heat it up and cut them so I have seen that done so far it really hasn't affected me but uh, it is just a retention holster here's my L model caliber doesn't matter but the retention to it is very nice. It grips around the trigger and uh, through the top of the, the slide. It'll actually grab and make a nice audible click. Like I said, that tail section, it comes all the way up to the top, which there'll be some pictures I'll post on the social media side of everything so you can actually see how all this lines up for a little bit longer than just here on the video. But it grips totally around the trigger all the way to your mag release so there's actually no way for this to depress your mag release and you don't have to worry about dumping your mag out but it grabs when it's actually to the body it will flex depending on if you have this inside or outside or how you have these clips but they'll actually tension some more around the gun and pull on the kydex that's all been really well when you go to remove it it is a hard pull I'm sure that'll loosen up. You can actually adjust it a little bit, but uh, I like a good positive click. So I know it's in there, and you can see it doesn't doesn't come out. It's actually in there, and that screw's only tightened about halfway. But if you're looking for a Kydex holster, here's one that might possibly work for you. I'm gonna wear it some more and let you know what I think about it after I've used it for about six months and see what it comes up to. But on the back of the paper, real quick, uh, for what I know about Gladius and this holster I actually bought, so this they're not paying me to do on this review. This is just one I wanted to, to share with everybody. Uh, they're a USA company. Um, they have all of their information here on the back, they show you 12 different ways to set up the clips on which way in your belt to give you a quick guide on how to do it. It tells you that it's an open muzzle, curved, the, the Kydex size, and gives their website and their specific information. It does come in a plastic box, so if you get it, you'll see it tells you what model that it's for, but it also fits the other three models of the Styro pistols. The only thing you'd have to worry about is, excuse me, the length of the muzzle. If you put a, a smaller one in here, it's still all going to grab around the trigger. It's just not going to fill up the front side of this. So if you wanted a smaller holster for your smaller gun, uh, they do make model Pacific ones. But if you want a generic one that will work with all your Styro pistols, buy the L, and that one will work. You'll just have more room in the front of the nose. So that's it, gentlemen and everybody. So hope for a holster. I should have some more coming in or some other holsters I'll show you to help make let you help make a decision. But uh, I'm going to get back to doing something else. So hope the review helps. Like I said, I'll come back to this one in a few months and let you know how it, uh, how it rides on a body, vehicle, wear and tear, or if I can break one. Alrighty, y'all have a good one.